Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial, uh, possibly with Sophie helping in the background, um, which uses double pointed needles. So this is how to insert, how to thread and then ultimately how to use a double pointed needle. There are links in the description below which will take you through to where I purchased my double pointed needles from. and. Um, I will be taking you through the process. I'm using two different colour threads just to keep it simple for you so you can see exactly what's going on and I think this makes a beautiful finish for a hem or for embellishment or top stitching. It's a really nice and as you can see very even method of uh, sewing two lines together and uh, you can choose to use same colours, you can choose to use contrasting colours or matching colours, it's entirely up to you. But this tutorial will take you through how to set up two spools of thread, how to insert the needle into the sewing machine, how to thread it all up and then how to use it to get this lovely effect. So hopefully you'll stick around and I'll show you how all that happens. Here we are with our regular single needle and what I'm going to do is simply unscrew this, take the single needle away and here we have, let's see, here we have our double needle and we have two needles that are held in place by this uh, plastic block and the top of the needle is exactly the same as, thank you Sophie, exactly the same as a regular needle with a flat panel at the back. So we can insert this as we would any standard needle with the flat panel pointing to the back and then simply tighten this up and we now have our two needles ready for threading. If you have a sewing machine that has two spool holders then you just load up two sets of thread as if you were running a standard spool. Uh, and then you thread them through. However, my machine only has one spool holder. Um, this is a very basic model. And so what I'm going to do is using my cup and large spool method, there'll be a link in the top right corner to that tutorial in a bit more detail, I will be connecting a second thread to the sewing machine. So I'll just pop that through my trusty safety pin and pop this in front of the current thread. So now I have two threads coming from a similar position and then I can start to thread my second colour through the machine. Now I'm using two colours purely because that keeps things simple for you. It does give a lovely effect when you use two colours if that is not the effect that you're looking for, however, you will want to use two of the same colour thread. Although that isn't the easiest thing for me to then demonstrate for you, which is, as I said, why I'm sticking to the two separate colours. So I've got my blue thread, my red thread. They're running through exactly the same um, threading process as for a single thread. And then I will um, thread them into the two individual needles down the bottom. I'll show you that in a moment. But it really is very simple, just using a cup and a large spool, so that if you don't have the two thread option on your sewing machine, you can you can cobble one together. Now that we have, now that we have both of our threads through the machine, um, I will just simply separate them out slightly so that it makes it easier for me and then thread them through. Now for this example I'm going to thread the blue on the right and the red on the left and it really is just a matter of threading as you would a normal needle. If you are unsure on how to do this or you would like to see my tutorial there is um, a quick top tips on how to thread your needles quickly and easily and um, there will be a link in the top right corner of this video. So now we have our blue thread and our red thread and we are ready to go. Simply lift the presser foot, tuck both of those threads through and remember we are still just using a single bobbin thread and then you are ready to start to sew. 
And now that we have the threads set up in the needles, we have red on the left and blue on the right, just so that you can uh, see the difference between the two, uh, you simply sew through as you would any other piece. The sewing machine takes care of everything. You only have one bobbin thread. Here we have the double lines, the parallel lines of stitching, and as you can see in each and every one, uh, they are all the same, which makes this perfect for hemming or top stitching or decorative effects. Um, and I will show you in the next tutorial how to use this with a pin tuck foot. So if you take a look up in the top left, top right rather, you will see that there is um, a link through to the, um, the pin tuck foot tutorial, which does make use of a double needle. Um, and on the reverse, you can see that we have one bobbin thread, which is zigzagging between the two needle positions. So uh, you can also use this particular foot, um, you can also use this particular needle to capture a um, a thread or a cording in place depending upon the size of needle that you're using and really that is all that there is to using the double needle uh, they come in uh, in several sizes as I'm sure I mentioned before and um, I've used the smallest for this demonstration whoa I've used the smallest for this demonstration but there is a medium and a large gap um, available out there. So uh, have a play with your double pointed needles and let me know what you think of the outcome. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye for now.